All right then my friends, so we saw in the last video that we initialized functions on the front end right here. So how about now we go ahead and create this cloud function, which is gonna make a specific user an admin. So let's get rid of this junk right here. This is the, uh, the default function that Firebase has shown us how to create. What we are gonna do is keep this call at the top. We still want to require Firebase functions. And by the way, this is running in a node environment when we push it up to Firebase, which is why we're using require here, okay? So then, the next thing we need to do is require the Firebase admin SDK. And using that admin SDK, what we can do is initialize the app server side and also use services like the authentication service to go ahead and get users and apply custom claims to them. So. What I'll say is const admin is going to be equal to a require and then we want to require a package called firebase hyphen admin. Now what we're going to do is initialize this app server side. So we'll say admin dot initialize app like so. And then we're ready to start using this admin thing right here to do things like reach out to the authentication service and get a user by a specific email, for example, or set a custom user claim. That's what we're going to use this admin SDK for. Now, I realize, by the way, that I'm going to be cramming in a lot of information into one video about cloud functions here. And this is not going to go into any great depth. I'm going to show you how to create this cloud function for this case scenario. But what I will do in the future, and I promise you this, I will create a full series on cloud functions where we'll go into much more depth about them and see all the different things we can do with them. But anyway, in our case, what we want to do is create a function which is going to add an admin role to a specific user. Now, the way we create functions is by first of all adding them to an exports object. So we say exports, oops, exports, and then dot, then the name of the function we want to export. And we're going to call this one add admin role. Now we set that equal to functions, which we required at the top. And then we say what type of function. Now this is gonna be a HTTPS function and it's also gonna be an on call function, meaning that we're gonna be able to call this from the front end. So then this function takes in a callback as a parameter so that when we actually call this function from the front end, this callback function inside here, this is gonna fire. So I'm using an arrow function right here and it actually takes two parameters. First of all, data and context. Now data is gonna include any custom data that we send along with this call to the function. So that could be in our case, the email address of the user that we want to make an admin. Now the context object right here, that includes information about authentication of the user that's made this call to the function. So we can get any auth information of the current user from that. I don't think really at the minute, at least not in this video, we're not gonna use the context, but we will be using data shortly. So anyway, Inside this function, what do we want to do? Well, little comment first of all, because we want to get the user and we want to add a custom claim to that user. So add and add custom claim, brackets admin. Okay then, so the first thing we need to do is actually get a user by an email address. Now, when we come to call this function, we're gonna be attaching to the data an email property. We're sending that from the front end so we're going to be able to access it from the cloud function using data.email, okay? And we'll see that in the next video. But first of all, what we need to do is say return admin.auth. So we're accessing the auth service now from this admin that we imported up here, okay? Then we want to use a method called get user by email. And we're going to pass in data.email, okay? Like I said, when we come to request or call this function, we're gonna send an email property along with the data. So that's why we can access it right here. By the way, we're returning this because it's gonna return a promise. And overall, inside that promise, at some point, we want to return a value. And that value is gonna be returned to the user. So if we're returning something inside this promise, we have to return the promise itself to return the overall value. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, since this is a promise, it takes some time to do, we can attach on the dot then method and that fires a callback function when it's done. Now this callback function takes in a user as a parameter and that's the user that this method goes out and gets based on this email. So then, now we have that user. What I'm gonna do now is say return admin dot auth and this time we're gonna use a method called set custom user 
claims. Now we pass in, first of all, the user UID because that's the user we want to set a custom claim to the user that we receive right here from this action okay so we're setting a custom claim to that user and the second parameter we pass through to this function is an object and this object is going to represent the different claims that we want to add to that user now we just want to add one we want to add an admin claim and that will be set to true so we're getting this user based on the email that we send along then with that user we're setting a custom user claim to that user and the claim is admin true. Does that make sense? Okay, now this returns a promise as well, but since we're returning it right here, we can tack on the then method over here instead of just on here, right? Because we returned it. So we can tack on the then method and when that is complete, then we want to do something else. So let's have a callback function right here. And what do we want to do now? Well, right now, this is the point that we've actually done what we've set out to do. We've added the custom claim to the user. Now we want to return a response to the user on the front end. When we make that call to the function, we expect a response at some point. So what we're going to do is return an object like so. And on that object, we'll return a bit of data. And that property of data is going to be called message. Now I'm going to send back a template string so I can embed some data in this. And I'm going to say success. And then I'll say dollar sign curly braces so we can output a variable in this template string. I'm going to say data.email, which is the email we're going to send along to this cloud function originally. And then I'll say has been made an admin. So if I send along, for example, Yoshi at the Net Ninja as this email, it's going to make that user an admin by attaching this claim. Then after all this is complete, we're returning this value and on that object, we have a message and that message is success. Yoshi at the Net Ninja has been made an admin. All right. So then if there is an error, we want to catch that. So we'll say catch and then inside any error and inside this function, we'll just return the error just in case there's an error. Whew. Okay then. So I think that is pretty much it for our cloud function to begin with. Um, it's not finished yet. We will return to this later on. And again, I realize that I've probably gone through this quite quickly. I hope I've explained it quite well so that you do understand what's going on. And like I say, I will do a whole series on cloud functions in the future as well. But I think for now, that's fine. So what we could do is go ahead and deploy this cloud function to Firebase. So how do we do that? Well, it's pretty simple to deploy. All we need to do is say Firebase deploy hyphen hyphen only functions like so because we're only deploying the functions nothing else so just wait for that to deploy it should just take a few seconds all right so when that's done you should see deploy complete and if we just go and check now in our console go to functions over here we should see our first function up here on the screen there we go add admin role that is the function name that's what we called it over here remember we attached that to the exports object so we have that function right here. Now, if you go to logs, it's going to tell us every time that function is called and it's going to log it out here as well as if there's any errors. So what we'll do in the next video is now we have this deployed, we're going to call it from the front end, from our application somewhere in auth.js to make someone an admin.